Hey guys, so this year for Halloween, I dressed up as the Bride of Chucky, otherwise known as Tiffany Valentine. Here we have my sister doing my makeup, and the very first step is to get the brows concealed. So she used a purple glue stick, and then did many layers of powder, concealer, powder, concealer, until they were flat with the face. I will say this is the first time I've ever had my brows concealed with new brows drawn on because Tiffany Valentine has those very distinct thin pencil line brows and this glue was no joke to get off at the end of the night. And now she's just taking a beauty blender sponge and going over the entire face with foundation, including the brows that she just concealed. Voila, I now have thin, dark brows, just like Tiffany Valentine. Don't mind my cute husband peeping in the background. Okay, now she's starting the eyeshadow. We did uh, dark burgundy and black, really smoky shadows. And I can list all the products in the description box below if anyone is interested in recreating this look. She's just blend, blend, blending. She also took the shadow down onto the lower lash line and smudged it out so it'd be nice and smoky. Here she's just taking some brown shadow or bronzer and accentuating my smile lines. And adding some dimples because Bride of Chucky has dimples. It's time for some contour. And my personal favorite part of the entire look, her signature mole. Here we're just taking some black gel liner and smoking out the lower lash line more. This is one of those products that is just as good, if not better, from the drugstore. We use the Maybelline Gel Liner, and let me tell you, that stuff stays put. I should also mention she lined my upper lash line as well. Time for lashes! I went with the House of Lashes Iconic Light. It's my first time wearing them. Loved how they looked. We trimmed them to fit my personal lash line. Now I'm just taking tweezers and mending the natural lash with the strip lash. Lip time. We're outlining with black and kind of doing like an ombre with a burgundy maroon color. And this almost completes the look. I hope you guys all have a great and safe Halloween. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you soon.